This is my 2002 Vauxhall Vivaro camper. Originally, the design just didn't work for me, so I set about reconverting it to include a side on bed. This is how we've got on with the build. This is the final chapter where you can see the build complete. But in this episode, we look at storage. Let's get straight into the video. I've just screwed the units in with these L brackets here, look you can see. Um, I've got four of those on there. Um, and that's probably just the job there. So over here where the fridge is, um, because we haven't screwed these in before we put the fridge in, um, I'm going to have to do it on that side. But there's a box going this side for the um, for the toilet to go into, so I need to look at that. The unit now is fixed into place now, as you can see, using the screws there. The fridge is uh, fixed into place now as well, so I've done that with a couple of screws here, as you can see. I've used some... Um, basically some silver screws on that really because it doesn't they just look a little bit better and they'll be on, on show i'll we'll probably maybe get some screw caps for them or something to make that look really nice but fridge is done so i've got the fridge working on gas 12 volt which the 12 volt is going to be is here that runs into that that socket there and i'm doing a little bit of work on these um calax units now and I put this sort of trim at the side because this is where the wheel arch will sit in and basically if you have a look what I want is the Calax unit to continue um, across to the um, obviously across the wheel arch so I can sort of um, box the wheel arch and so it's just giving you the illusion that the Calax is is carrying on um, so what I've done is I've put these um, timber edges in here these are just some scrap timber I've got and then one for the bottom as well so what that basically means is we get a nice joint on it there um, that doesn't have to be as far as that um, it's just I'll measure it up and cut it off once I uh, get it in the van and test it but these L shapes here are so we can glue it together and we get a nice strong corner um, which will hide the end of the uh, calyx completely so that's good and we want a nice good snug fit against the carpet as well um but yeah so i've had to do that to both of the um both of the units but uh yeah it's kind of getting there so what i've done now is um i fixed the calyx unit in now into place there and you can see those timber edges there um this is the space i've got waste of the living space which is absolutely fine for me that is more than I had before um, when the old uh, full bed was out. Um, so there's another Calax up there which I've cut down. So what I need to do now is I've got this night heater now in the way. I'm not having that black one, don't worry. It's uh, What I've got to do now is I've got to notch out a space for that night heater. So that unit, the night heater, enclosed within this floor. Um, so that's going to be quite a tricky job i have to do it with a jigsaw um, and just take the right amount out um, so that's kind of like uh, the next uh, the next job i've just lined it up i've just got to mark it with a pencil but also measure that section there to make sure that when i come back i get a nice flush fit around it you see um and bear in mind i've got wires and all sorts running running up through there so that's not going to be uh, an easy job, but something we can uh, no, no doubt do. So, the two units are in place now, and um, that's looking good now. They're screwed in, they're level, etc. So, you can see what I'm trying to do here. Whoever's obviously fitted this van out, they just thrown the ply board in by the looks of it. So, that is straight there, so you can see how much the, uh, the frame of this is out by. Um, you know the the ply board is eight by but i'll probably pop get some trim or something for that at some point um and fill that in because i've got a bit of a, an expansion gap there on the laminate flooring so that'll be all right i'll uh, just need to nip a bit off the top of there but what it does is basically closes these wheel arches here um when i've got my night heater which is going to poke out through the front of this as well i've cut the trim pieces now you can see so all I've got to do now is just get one more IKEA unit, maybe a single, 
and uh, just basically cut out those two uh, bottoms of that so that should hopefully uh, hopefully do it and you can see over there I've done the same on the end there they're blocked they're blanked off so whatever ha happens in the wheel arches um, you know that'll be that'll be covered up that will um, and then yeah that's okay anyway well uh, not much I can do now until I get the other bits from Ikea so uh, sign out for so we're having these inserts on here and the drawers below in that sort of unit there okay so that's what that's gonna look like so we're gonna get a couple of those and there we have it that is the shopping done in IKEA I've got what I wanted I've got all of the um, units here so I've got drawer units I've got two of those and I've got these cupboard inserts as well which will be going into the camper van I've bought out to buy a single Calax um reason being is i've got to literally take that apart and um use the two sides of it to make um to make the trim on the side of the camper so it's okay so yeah i'll have to spend some money on it but it's nowhere near as much money if you're going to convert a camper from scratch is it so anyway the good lady's over there she's obviously buying whatever's in this section um, all I want to do is get home. Here you now, we're on the final phase of electrics now and he's fitting a split charger in the van. So Paul, what does a split charger actually do? Right, what it does, it charges the secondary battery, which is your laser battery, right? So if you want to have this, say, yeah, and obviously you've got your fridge and you've got different things running, they're just running totally, totally off the ledger battery with no alternative charge yeah. going into it so it wouldn't be long before the battery went flat and then when you come to obviously park up everything would be flat your lights yeah. would working like that so 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 basically what it does it just it it comes off your main battery feeds to your ledger battery your alternator charges your main battery it comes through this split charger here and what this does this split charger it it it's it's like a um, it's quite clever really because what it does it it like um, I don't know what you call the word it. Sorry, I did this bit. No, I've gone blank. I like yeah. So what it does it basically like assesses the amount of charge in the main battery and also in the leisure. So if your leisure battery is going flat, this detects the drop in voltage like right. So it's like a. A clever thing really. yeah so what it does then it flicks the charge from your main battery over to your ledger ledger battery then once it's put the amount of charge in there right then it'll swap back to I the see. main battery so the idea is is that what it will always do it will always keep the main battery fully charged because obviously that's probably if you lose power yeah. on that and obviously you're not going to be able to start the vehicle yeah. so basically that's all it does it keeps uh -huh. both char both batteries right uh, at a nice uh you know charge so ordinarily you'd be using this fly lead here in the outs uh, you know outside the vehicle into the charge point and you'd be charging it for a battery charger so in actual fact you eliminate the use of a battery charger well exactly that's yeah. right you know it's always best to carry a battery charger yeah. because it ain't gonna hurt to put your battery charger on yeah. and plug it in while you're unparked up because it'll just top the amount of power back yeah. up in the battery what you've actually used. But like I say, they are a little clever thing, like, you know. Yeah. And, There's uh, quite thick wires on them, isn't there? Look at that like, compared to yeah. what you've been dealing with. Well, there has to be, like, because of the yeah. voltage and stuff. Because yeah. if you went and put something like that on, it'd just literally yeah. melt. So it has to be able to carry the current, you say. And so this is like the last little bit now isn't it of the right. electrics it, yeah. and actually when you what you quantify it it's been a couple of was it a couple of days no, no, if you if you put it I all together say, what do you reckon if i put it all together right i would say it, it it'd probably take you eight to ten hours yeah right to complete the lot yeah. obviously i've spent three hours one day three hours another and probably two and a half hours yeah. of today yeah so, amazing you know and i've just took amazing. my time but if i was to like speed it up and you know yeah. Like, you could easily do it in eight areas, like yeah. a small van like this, like, you know, it's not hard. Like I say, you just have to understand electrics, because obviously with car electrics, it's AC, which is yeah. alternative current. 
with house power it's direct yeah yeah so, D yeah. so ac and dc yeah, yeah. Right. and welcome back to the van build and uh it's been full i've been delayed a week because i haven't been too well not too well now either but i'm gonna get on with the van build and that's the main thing so let me tell you where we're at with it okay um i had a bit of an issue this morning where those sockets there weren't working unfortunately but paul's nip back over and sorted them out it was a break in one of the wires um but all the electrics are done now um the only thing we've got to do is i've just got to get a switch for this uh, you can see that there the split charger is in but we're putting a switch on so it doesn't actually um flat the battery so paul will tell you a little bit more about that when we actually get around to it so now i'm just putting in the um, framework now for the the bed um and you can see i've got this curve on the frame of the um the frame of the 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 van itself it curves back which is really annoying um because it'd be nice to have kept it square but there you go so i'm in the process now of doing that so that um it hides those wheel arches and it's such a shame of wasted space really but that's unfortunately what we've got to deal with the units are in um i've just got to do some work now on the front so you can see the night heater there and the night heater is going to go through that hole and then through the front of that there i'll cut a piece in there so the night heater can come out the front and be connected so can't really do much on this until i've um put the, the trim on this side so looking at the back you can see i've put the trim in there I've just got to bead some seal sealant around it just so it looks okay and I, this will all be sealed in with sealant eventually um i've glued, glued those in there so that's the trim and once the doors are in that'll look well that'll actually look quite nice there and you can see you can see that curvature on that frame so the next job will be to cut the trim for the far end now um which is going to be quite a awkward little job but let's get on with it just working on the night eater now now i've got basically um i've got a large bigger pipe here coming off here going into a smaller one right so i just want to reduce it down so i've reduced it down by actually popping some foil into it and that's the best way um because it, if it gets hot is um wrap it around with foil so i've got a smaller outlet here look which this is the piece that's going to go this is the piece that's going to go on it and that piece will go onto there like that so that will be i will now figure out how big that is so that's got to uh, sit into sit into one of those holes there now i don't know if i've got even got a piece big enough for that a um, cutting uh a cutting thing bigger than that i don't think so Ooh, we'll, we'll see won't we we'll yeah, see i've built this corner out here um and this has just been glued into place now um and i'll fill in a lot of this with sealant just have a not really nice sort of white finish on it um i've put a lot of the um timber um stud work in between i've just got to finish this corner and this is for this corner here this is the out the bit for the night heater now the only problem is at the moment is because these are so hollow these ikea calax units that i've had to put some um filaments in so they're glued they should be ready to go for tomorrow um they should be ready to rock and roll tomorrow to go so i'm just going to put that i'll just put that there um other than that night heater is um night heat is working i've done that on a dummy run all's all's good and uh all's good and positive with that um as we come to the back of the van done a bit on this as well so I've now tidied these units up now. So these units now, this is the Calax unit, you wouldn't really know. Um, but to the back of the van it will look quite nice. I'm gonna squeeze a door in there. I'm not actually sure how I'm gonna hinge it yet, but that's what will happen. Okay, so these are your IKEA drawer inserts, these are um dr drawers and doors, and you can see. They just they just, they just sit in there and they provide a really decent sort of um, storage under bed storage space here. Um, same as the drawer, same as the drawers look. Um, what I will be doing with those tomorrow is I will be putting some magnetic closers on these, um, <clears throat> which I bought, which will just stop them opening in transit. I mean, more importantly, the 
the front ones more than anything um, and we've got this little hole here look um, like I said I am going to put a uh, door on the end of that um, cut a door on that somehow I'll try um, and that's where the um, the uh, the and camping stove will uh, will go and so it's getting there isn't it it's really starting to look the business now well we've had a busy day today we really have um lots been going on um what i've done today is i've cut all this plywood now for the bed you can start to see where that is um underneath here we've got the underside so i've done all the basically the uh, insulation around the um the heater um, and that's the bit of storage underneath there so I've basically I'm going to put those on hinges so as I put them in there um, all of this will be screwed down so that's pretty much where the bed is really of what the what we're going to be doing with the bed now what I've got to do now is sand, in the, sand each individual piece so we've got no, no rough edges on it and then what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the um, carpet that's here this anthracite carpet that's on here and then we're going to basically cover each individual for each, each individual piece with some of that um it doesn't you know it doesn't need to be but it just gives a little bit more detail to it um and just makes it a little bit more um nicer and smoother to look at especially we don't want a blue edge do we there uh unless i'm color blind it's actually green so yeah we'll uh that's the next job so each individual piece has to now be um cut some of the, the carpet put around it my next job what i'm doing is um these individual segments of the bed of the base of the bed i'm just actually wrapping in this anthracite stretch carpet just makes it look a lot more tidier and a bit more neater underneath the bed um because we've got storage underneath there we just don't want to be seeing the plywood do we so what i've done is we've got this adhesive here um this adhesive here so all we do is we spray it over leave it a few seconds There it is, the completed panel. There you go. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? So guys, let's run over what we've done so far then. Um, let's get the big light on. So I've done basically, all of this now is screwed down, all of the bed itself. Um, so that's looking all right. It's a bit confusing because the van's actually on a slope um, and the your track works at something level. So what we've got here now is now because the boards have all been um, screwed down, these two sort of inspection panels here for the storage, they sit in a bit prayed, but once the mattress gets on top and a bit of weight, it should be good. So what we've got here are two, basically two um, cubby holes here, as you can see, um, which are pretty good. I'm not sure whether we're gonna hinge them or not, or leave them as they are. I just aren't sure at the moment. I'll, I'll make my mind up about that but actually this is this section done now in the back and um, the beds in all I've got to do is cut the mattress I'm just tugging on a little idea here of extending the bed out along here to meet this but I want to do it in such a way that it doesn't look too um, too crap and it's just a little section I could just pull out whenever I want to so I'll have a look at that and see what the um, possibilities are with that as some sort of temporary, um, as some sort of temporary thing here, you know, just to coming across here, just so we can have the bed that way if I wanted to and just sleep whichever way is comfortable. Um, and because obviously this side, this way, this way here is restrictive slightly and this way is slightly longer so um you know if i can probably think of something i get me thinking cap on and that's what you do with these van builds is you're trying to figure out stuff as you go along so let's have a look at what we've done now now i've put basically the units these calax units on the front i've now put on the um as you can see i've now put on the um the doors and the drawers here so they look quite nice don't they um and then we've got this little little bit here i'm not unsure whether to put a drawer on it um draw a, another little cupboard door into this little area here or to leave it and put a shelf in it i don't know um 
I'll probably figure out what I need to go in there at, 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 at some point. But actually, it's starting to look the business now. We are we are getting there. Lots of little tiny little bits now I've got to do. Um, you know, little little bits and details and stuff like that. But yeah, it's getting there. So, <clears throat> what I've done now is just tidied up the, um, the cupboard. So, the whole plan all along was to get everything in one cupboard. Um, which I think has been done really, really well here. So we've got our water tank at the back there, our fresh water tank there, with the pump as well connected to it. Just going to make a slight adjustment for that so we can screw the cap on. Over there we've got the grey water, which is snugly fitted into there, and our gas tank there, our gas, gas can, and um, our ledger battery there, and that's backed up there by a battery charger as well which eventually I suppose I could probably go to solar if I wanted to but anyway that's all that section sorted out in any and in, in, in some sort of order I've just got to put some um, timber battening around a couple of the bits and pieces so they don't tend to uh, slide around during traveling which would be a bit of a pain really but um, that's uh, that's pretty much um, sorted out in there now well, I've got some finishing touches to do today. So this is where the old night heater used to outlet used to be. So that leaves me with a round hole. So um, I'm just going to put that back on there as a little bit of an air vent. But the new night heater there is pumping out some nice heat from there. So what I'm going to try and do now is secure some of these loose bits and pieces in the back in the underneath here, such as the water container and stuff, and stop them moving about, and especially the battery. So that's very cramped um, in here at the moment i've now organized in here now and that's looking a lot better now um i have got the water container everything's secure so it doesn't move around so that's quite all of the services that you need are all in there the the fresh water tank the wastewater tank the gas bottle and the leisure battery and the battery charger and there's enough room for an inverter if I wanted it to. Um, all that's got to be done there is I've just got to get a buyer switch for the um, for the split charger so Paul can come and sort that out. So that's good. I put the door back on and that's there. A few marks on this door unfortunately. This is from when we had the rock and roll bed. You can see how much it's damaged the unit. But actually that's that bit sorted out now. So what I'm doing now here, as you can see, I've glued that little magnetic stopper on the bottom of the cupboard there. Now what I'll do is I'm, I'm just going to let that set overnight and then I will screw the little metal thing on there. I mean, it's not so where I'm going to have it. I'd prefer to have them at the top, to be honest with you, but the screws are so small. And bearing in mind, this is chipboard, so I'll, I'll probably figure that. It's just a little test to see what it you know to see how it works really um, but we're getting that over here now the only thing that's got to be kind of done over here now is this area here tidying up really um where the carpet is there um a bit of work to be done there um ah good morning and uh, welcome to the van build and <clears throat> you can tell by the uh, balaclava that uh, it is bloody cold this morning really cold so i'm just preheating the van before i get stuck into some work so some of the jobs i'm going to do today is i want to tidy this up here get that all sort of sorted out i need to um get this cut properly into shape and then put a an angle on there just to finish that corner off there bit of screwing up around there i've got a hole to fill in there look um <clears throat> the inside there is pretty much done i've just got to um let's just open it up Oops. inside there i've got to uh, just secure that battery charger uh, so what i've done um i've done so far is this area here we had a big hole down here and now it's a really difficult and i've only got limited fabric to do this with so i've managed to pull some of the fabric up and just basically seam that in there there wasn't enough to go into that corner so i've done that as just as neat as i possibly can um and then the, it sort of goes down there then um and then finishing off down there i've got to put a couple of staples in that um but actually looks all right i mean 
you, you know, um, because this plyboard had actually been detached from the frame of the vehicle, I've had to rescrew that using these um, black drywall scores here, south tappers. And that, that doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. It's, I would like it neater, but unfortunately there is no other way of doing it rather than just, um, rather than just screwing it, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, I mean, one thing you could do if you really wanted to is just to pull some of the fluff off the um, pull some of the fluff off the off cuts and just actually glue each one with a bit of super glue and just cover the screw holes up. That could be a little option for you. So next job for me will be um, down here, and I need to build a area. I need to build an area here. I need to build an area here for the toilet to sit into. So that might just be a simple box structure of some kind. Anyway, that's what I'm going to get stuck into. Oh, the snow has halted the van build. Oh, great. But we are now um, doing the bed. go this is actually very comfortable this is and these are two little beds that we bought and used the foam from them um which is just a simple little idea you know got this bit of the bottom bit, bit, bit of the the bottom bit of the bed which is really good so yeah it's looking good now we are getting there and i can get to the fridge um all the services are locked away um Welcome to my workshop and the next job I'm actually undertaking here is putting in the air vents in the back door where the um, night heater inlet goes. So we want a nice um, flow of air through. So what I'm actually using is um, these pieces here, look, that type of drill there, okay. Um, nice sharp bit on there. I've done most of the holes and uh, I'm about to show you. Um, a little bit of how I've been uh, how I've been doing about it. Okay, so so one important thing to do is obviously we've got a good powerful drill, right? I've made my hole on that side. You can see, and obviously I'm using for the for the actual job itself. I'm using these wardrobe vents here. Can you see them? Um, and these will fit in here. I mean, it, the trouble is they're a sort of between fit, so they will have to be glued into. They will have to be glued into place. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to turn them on the front here like this, and then I'm going to hit it with this. So it's important to take it steady when you're cutting the side. So this at the moment is the um, is the the front um, of the actual board itself. There might be a little bit of burring on the end there, but don't worry, that's going to be covered up by the, the vent itself, okay? So it's making sure that the back actually looks the neatest, because that's actually what everyone will see. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on there and I'm going to go nice and steady. important to go in nice and steady and a little bit of pressure so I've gone halfway in there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the other side and you can see where it's come out there and then I'm going to literally take it through so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, just move it around a little bit and I'm going to do it over the edge here okay so that's so I've got a bit of wood underneath this is just so I don't damage um the my unit that i'm doing it on so i'm just taking it in slowly okay and now i can i can feel it hitting the wood underneath okay so and you can feel it go through okay let's feel it go through now so I know I've got a good, a good, good few holes there. Look, that little glue open. And I'm just going to glue around the inside to these. I'm using this Loctite glue, not super glue, so it won't go off straight away. But it will go off at some point. 
there we go okay so all i'm going to do now because we've got the front we'll just pop pop it in and we want to make sure we want to make sure that they're square as you look at them okay like that look see there we go now that's all of those done now um unfortunately you can see on the far end here that um it's a bit of a pain there because we've got a bunk, uh, uh, the brown bit of the wood but to be honest with you it's going to be in the cupboard so it's not going to be as noticeable so i've got that there now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my box of well actually i think i've got one i've got that's heavier than that i think it might be that box these two boxes here the um, drill bit boxes so that should put some weight on it overnight uh, the um this is where the cupboard door is off there you can see that i've put all of these draw knobs on now on these so they look quite nice um nice feature um so i've got to now put the other one on the other side one with the vent and it's important we have the vent because we need the air still circulating because that that part of the night heater sucks the heat the uh, air through and then converts it and then sends it heats it and sends it through so it's important that we have that um with the vents on the back there okay so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to try and line these up now so it's always a quite a difficult one so i always go for halfway and then i'll adjust it after okay same as that one go for halfway just after shut the door to be fair that's quite good there you go there you go that's pretty good doesn't it um got all my vents in there that's pretty good so they all look they're all pretty good now so i'm pretty happy with them um i've got to put some little stoppers on them now to stop them making that uh, that clicking noise that they do that noise there okay Hey, we're in the uh, in the workshop now, in the workshop of the shed. So what I'm going to do is I've got these pieces of, um, these are off a door actually, a, the frame of a door. Um, I managed to salvage them from a school ages ago. So with that in mind, I'm going to cut a few mil off the nicer end of this. Not too much. And then I'm going to glue that to the front of the cupboard. And that's going to stop anything inside those cupboards sliding out and falling and pushing against the door which is what i don't want so this is what i'm going to do so i'm going to set this up so i'm going to set this up so it just takes a few mil off i don't i don't want i don't want too much off because there we go no it's actually going to go wider Gonna go wider. That'll do. That will do the job. Right, okay. Beware. <laughs> wanted this little bit here so what I'm doing here is putting these little strips here onto the um, onto the the edge there that means the contents of the cupboard doesn't slide forward and um, and come out or put um, pressure on the door now for the door the locks on the door I haven't gone for I will go for push um, push button latches eventually but for the moment I've just got two pieces of velcro look see that on there like that squeeze it shut and they're, they're pretty solid they are so there's not a problem there same on that one down there and i've done the same on the drawers just to stop them i'll probably find a more permanent solution later on but it'll do for now um so that's the that job done so just putting the finishing touches to the van i've got some new car seats the covers in there and um and a new uh, mat in there nothing nothing exciting um and uh yeah so i'm ready to start putting everything back in 
Well finally I can welcome you back to the finished van build and it has absolutely been a roller coaster with all sorts of issues such as the night heater and various other things but I'm pleased to say it's finished now and I can give you a little look around. So let's talk here around some of the features that we've got. So one thing that is really important in this build is, is having a bed that runs sideways. Now I'm six foot two, yeah it is a little bit of a, of, of a squeeze but I come up with an ingenious plan there but for me and the uh, good lady wife the bed's plenty big enough um, to, uh, to accommodate us and it's uh, yeah it's finished off nicely. So here we've got at the bottom of these cupboards. Now these cupboards are Calax cupboards by Ikea. Now all I've done with these Calaxes is, is cut them down and created this kind of look that we've got now. So this one here is where the night heater sits. You can see we've got the fuel in the night heater. It sits nicely in there and you've got a ni some nice ventilation from these little bits here, these little um, outlets here. So the drawers we've got drawers in the back here and one of them will be for food and stuff and uh, I'm not sure what the other one's for yet but got more storage than I can ever cope with again another good cube stood piece of storage there the extra little bit that's that has the little camping stove in it so it's really really good um, and I've had to do a lot on this like the, all of these back door panels were all coming off um, so there's quite a lot to do but actually it looks quite nice now um, from that side so let's go around the other side and see what we've been up to so on this side we've got exactly the same thing we've got the um, the the storage as well so we've got different things in these ones so we've got pots and pans um, washing bits and bobs in these so there's quite a lot towels there etc so we got quite a lot going on there regarding storage and I replaced the floor as you know so we've got this nice floor sitting in here and we've also got the night heater outlet down there which blows nice hot air into here we're going to go into this cupboard now now in this cupboard we've got we've had some changes in here so we've got the big water tank at the back there which is electric so that has got a pump on it We've got the wastewater tank there and then behind the back of there we've got the gas bottle. We've got the um, leisure battery there and then we've got a secondary battery charger as well. We've also got a split charger on here so the battery is being charged while we're driving it. Okay so coming on to the top here we have the lighting so we've got LED, colour changing LED lights all the way around the uh, cab space there but also these um, normal sort of LED lights here so uh, in the evening it's plenty plenty light enough for it um, but also it works on remote control as well so that's that's really really good um, plenty of um, sockets we've upgraded so we've got USB sockets we've got one down there and that's plugged into an extension there um, we've got the night heater controls there and that is the fridge and we've got the other connection for the fridge there as well so lots and lots of storage so the fridge is here so we got a good size fridge I made some edits to it and um, put that screw vault bolt in there so the door stays shut but other than that that's working off all all three ways now which is gas 12 volt and um, 230 volt okay so the other thing is i've also made um, another little cupboard here so if i take the mat away slightly this cupboard now houses the porter toilet the the toilet down there look you can see hidden away in there but that also um doubles up that also doubles up as a seat for taking your boots off your muddy boots off so that's all right we've got a lot going on there with that so the inside of the interior you know it's a nice bed that is and um but that actual that bed holds a bit of a secret right 
so you can see now with the back doors closed how cozy it is so this bed also hides a bit of a secret okay so if i pull the duvet back a little bit okay pull the sheet out and we pull that over like that you can see underneath the bed here we have more storage so if i take that one out you can see that the storage is really good now i've got and there's another one next to that and that actually gives me access to the night heater um but good storage trunk here um nice and big the size of another Kallax actually and actually this is really good space um and complete utterly hidden away completely and that's the main thing isn't it so let's put that back down put that back over there we go put the duvet back over now there is one other little surprise that this um there is one other surprise that this bed gives and i'm going to demonstrate it for you now so that board goes in there like that and that slots in there and that's hidden behind the back of here because there's some room behind the back of the the um the unit so then that piece of padding goes on there and what we've got then is a length full length bed all the way down so it just depends so when i've got when i've got some um, emma with me that means i can use it as a double but when i'm on my own i can uh, i can have this little extension in here which would be really really handy so that is a that is a little design um a little design feature that is um nice little design feature so what this also does is one of the annoying things about the van before was that you couldn't get into the fridge when the rock and roll bed was out in this short wheelbase now everything is ha now everything is exactly how i how i need it now um and that's the main thing is actually creating something that actually that actually works for you um and where you know in your and your travels so to speak and you can see you've got a bit of a I've got a bit of a tablet there as you can see but there you go that is the the finished camper um it looks a bit raggy now doesn't it now I've messed about with it a bit so there you go it's never been so easy to convert your own van and I've had I have had a little bit of help with it especially with the electrics and that was down to uh Paul but you know a van build is all about what works for you and you know something is always not as it seems when you buy it and you want to do something completely different but actually this van's quite cozy now um it's had a bit of an overall i think ne um sorting the outside of this van out is the next uh, step making it look a little bit um a little bit better than it does so from me it's good night Oh, I just put me head down. Oh, that's enough. Take the glasses off. Oh, 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 oh. bye. <laughs>